What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, I'm your host Ben and today Apple released macOS Pixel 11.1 to the general public. This means that if you have a supported Mac or device, you can easily go into your system preference and download this software update from the air. But that's not all that Apple released today. They released iOS 14.3 to all supported devices. They also released tvOS 14.3 and watchOS 7.2. And on top of that, they released iOS 12.5 for older iPhones and also their Apple Fitness Plus subscription service went live today so it's been a busy day and most of these updates I'm going to be covering here on the channel so make sure you subscribe and stick around would appreciate that and now this is how you download macOS Big Sur 11.1 the official version coming from a beta so let's say you are like me and you were on 11.1 RC or perhaps you were on beta 1 or beta 2 this is how you get the official version of 11.1 so on your mac you want to open the app store and then you want to search for mac os big sur so if you search for that you see mac os here and then if you click on it you see that it tells you that you can get it and just to show you the version that you'll be downloading here you can see that it's actually mac os big sur version 11.1 and then if you click here where it says more you can see most of the changes that came with this update so let me show you what would happen if i wasn't to get it from here so if i go into my system preferences and then go to software update you can see that it checks for the update right so let's give it a moment and as you can see it says your mark is up to date and that is because i have the developer beta profile that you see here you can see this this is my developer beta profile and i'm currently on mac os B 11.1 rc so that's why it's not seeing the update because it's thinking that it's current and you can see the version that i have here 11.1 c69 so if i want to get the official version which is going to be more or less the same as what i actually have right now the app store is one of the ways that i can get the official version so if i click get here you notice that this software update page will pop up and you can see that it's finding update and as you can see see it will ask me macOS Pixel are you sure you want to download macOS Pixel 11.1 then I'll say download and let's see the update size for me as you can see it's quite big it's actually 12.20 gig and since I'm actually downloading from RC2 and there isn't a lot of changes you can see where it basically started to download from it started to download from almost 11 gigs which is good and so this is how you get the official version coming from a beta version to the official version now let's look at the new features and changes and the first one that i have to mention from the get-go has to do with the 2013 and 2014 13 inch macbook pro models so the board id that identifies those macbook models has finally been included with this update with the previous update there was an issue whereby the board id was removed from the supported devices of 11.1 rc but now with this official version it's now there which means that apple has finally managed to somewhat solve the issue that was breaking those 2013 and 14 13 inch macbook pro models so now it's fixed and you can update to it with no issues at all which is a good thing also something that's changed with this update once you update you'll be welcomed by a new analytics screen and it will ask you whether you want to share your analytics with apple developers and once you click continue you'll be welcomed by your desktop and something else that's updated with this version has to do with the new apple over ear headphones that we have the new airpods max so they are now supported with this update and if you've made up your mind that you'll be getting the new airpods max for 549 dollars instead of the sony playstation 5 then this update actually supports that which is a good thing for those that are fortunate enough i guess to have those headphones and then also apple tv plus subscribers are getting more benefits when it comes to this update within the apple tv app you can search using different categories and also it now gives you more recently searched items and more recently browsed items within the apple tv app this is not something i've set up because i don't really have time to watch tv so i don't use it much but if you do there have been updates slightly with that also with this update apple news widgets are now available in the notification center so you can always put them there and show them if you want now if we go to the widget section we actually had quite a number 
of widgets that have been doubled. For example, you can see the news widget. It has today and topic, and you can actually select different sizes. I believe on beta 2, this was there, but I don't know why it's mentioned to be something that's new, because you can see even notes has folder and notes. And quite a number of widgets have been updated like this. But with the Apple News widgets, Apple mentioned that it has been updated with the notification center. That's something good. Within the App Store, there's a new requirement by Apple that app developers include privacy or a privacy section that shows what are the privacy practices of that software or application for the App Store. So if you visit some of the applications that have been updated to show and comply with this Apple requirement, then you'll be able to see that new privacy section. But keep in mind that this is something that was just recently implemented. So you might actually get some software or application updates as different developers input or update their app privacy policies and also in the same app store you now have in-game dashboard and also you get recommendation for new arcade games to play if it's something that you have time to do now for those that have the newer apple silicon max with the new m1 chip you can now actually run ios and ipad os applications whether you want them to run in portrait like this or in landscape mode like this or even in full screen so it depends on the setting that you want and if you are opening like an application that looks good on the iphone in portrait mode like this then you can actually do that or in landscape like this if it's a game or something like that now this update allows for that if you have the iphone 12 pro or 12 pro max you can actually take pro raw videos the highest quality capable by those devices and now with this 11.1 they are actually supported within the photos application so you can open them up and then you can even edit them using the photos app in this macOS update safari has been updated slightly so within the search engine in safari you can actually now select ecosia depending on the search engine that you want and this is a change that we actually saw on ios 14.3 it's there and now apple has decided to implement it on macOS pixel 11.1 finally health is something that we are seeing apple focus more and more when it comes to ios updates within the health app and now when it comes to the mac that is also being implemented in some of the mac softwares like maps and also like the weather app so if you are using maps within mainland china you now actually are able to see a quality of the location you are or your destination where you'll be going to also health recommendations are provided by siri with this update and this is not available to origins at this time it's something that's been rolled out and at the time i'm recording this video it's actually available to the us uk germany india and mexico those are the countries and it's something that's being expanded so keep this in mind and then also something that's working stable i've tested it quite a number of times has to do with unlocking your mac using your apple watch so on the previous betas we've seen issues with this and it, this is finally working on this update now if you use voice over quite a lot you now have the ability to select voice over infovox a cappella voices instead of just sticking to the native apple voices that are provided by the system so this is a setting that you can change i don't use it quite often so i'm not going to change that but it's good that apple has added this so this seems to be most of the new features and changes that came with this update however there is quite a number of issues that also this update fixes and the first one has to do with an issue whereby quicktime could quit unexpectedly so that issue has been fixed and then also the other one has to do with bluetooth connection where it wouldn't show up in the top here in the control center or if you put it on your top menu bar it wouldn't show up so this has been fixed and also something else that's fixed has to do with trackpad speeds for different macbook pro models whereby from time to time you would experience uneven speeds when going through web pages so this issue has been fixed and then the other issue that's fixed has to do with LG ultra fine 5k display where it would sometimes display incorrect and the resolution will be bumped down to 4k so that issue has been fixed and it now displays 
in 5k for apple silicon macbooks with the apple m1 chip which is a good thing and the last thing that has been fixed with this update has to do with the touch bar so i was experiencing an issue whereby it wasn't responsive but now this has been fixed and for people that were facing issues when it comes to their fingerprint sensors that has actually also been fixed now those are the fixes that came with this update now let me show you how my device is actually performing so if i open application you can see that they open up relatively fast and I actually haven't had any major issues when it comes to opening most of my applications or the softwares that I use and I'm happy for that and I did run Geekbench scores just to see how fast this update is performing so when it comes to CPU performance I got a score of 751 and then on multi-core i had a score of 29.39 for gpu i also did do the same thing i ran geekbench 5 score just to see how this update is performing i got a score of 17,716. now when it comes to battery performance let me just show you if we go to the battery section here and go to the last 10 days so on rc i was actually testing it out on saturday and sunday to see how much screen on time i would get i was doing a lot of zoom calls and pdf reading so as you can see on saturday i got about four hours of screen on time and that was basically using a hundred percent of charge which is so terrible and then on sunday you can see that i got about eight hours of screen on time using 150 percent so you can see that basically i'm getting like four hours average when it comes to battery and i'm speaking from experience because i've been using 11.1 rc which is the same build number as what we have here on the official version so battery life i would say it isn't great but since i've updated like from a beta to the official we'll see how that goes in about two days when i do the follow-up video stay tuned for that and i hope with battery life when i do my follow-up video this changes now whether you should update or not i mean so many people have been waiting for this 11.1 so you should update yes it's a good thing and i should say that since the 2013 14 uh, 13 inch macbook pro model issue was resolved then also for people that have those devices they shouldn't experience any issues when it comes to this update so that's how you go from a beta to the official and some of the changes that came with this update i would say a downside to this update is that it doesn't have the fitness app that is there on ios or ipad os so you can't really use it to watch apple fitness plus videos like you can on the iphone and the other apple tv devices which is a downside hopefully they can allow perhaps even airplay with the fitness app so that you know you can stream some of your videos from here instead of you know using a small iphone screen other than that i think it's a good update and that's about it for me if you like this video a like would be good but a sub even greater stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace